Hey, what's up? It's me. <laughs> I recorded this entire video on my iPhone, y'all, and I did it planning to move the footage to my laptop and edit it where I normally do, okay? Where I thrive, where I feel comfortable. But for the life of me, I could not get the footage over there. So this video is edited with my iPhone, okay? With love. So I hope that y'all enjoy this simple, wholesome content. <laughs> Thank you for watching. What's new? I got these leggings from Old Navy. Sorry y'all, no fitness haul because I just didn't have it in me. Also, I'm not under 200 pounds. I reached it a couple of times, but I'm always picking up a chair. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm like pumped and happy and excited. I got a surprise. <laughs> Girl, nobody can smell you. Also that, you know? Going through a phase where priorities are a little different, but oh, we need to ship them back, so it'll be fine. How I look, y'all. I'm like, okay, answer me, but I just feel like the quality is not gonna be good, but it is what it is. Hello there. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Don't beat me up, okay? Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> But no long intro, no long story. I just, I ain't been feeling it, but I'm working on getting back into it. So welcome back to Shondaland, okay? We, we still getting things cracking over here and where have I been? For anybody that, that's wondering, eh, on Instagram, y'all, I've been on Instagram. And Instagram has taken a lot of my time. Um, not that I can't post here and on the main channel while on instagram but honestly it has been taking a little bit too much time so i'm working on the balance of like having all the social medias intertwined um if you don't follow me on instagram you better make sure that you do because because that is a way to get me daily like i'm just there it's like a like a real life vlog <laughs> it's bittersweet sometimes it can be a little much sometimes i step back sometimes i dive in real heavy but if you're not following me on instagram make sure that y'all do it this video ain't about instagram but let me just say real quick because i don't like to say i'm gonna do something and then not do it y'all i'm sorry the fitness haul is not gonna happen because a my weight has been like this right and i technically got under 200 pounds a couple times like 198 197 back up to 205 199 210 like it, it's just been a lot i'm just sitting here with these bags of cute clothes for months and i'm telling myself you can't enjoy them you can't have them until you reach this goal in the future i'm sure i'll have like different type of videos like that you know like if i reach this particular milestone or goal i'll celebrate with y'all in this way so don't worry we don't we still gonna do things like that and that's not to say that i'm not still focusing on my goals it was just that particular haul that particular goal with what has particularly been going on it wasn't gonna work for me so i did want to say that because i did actually say that i was gonna do that that's why i wanted to just mention it here and i just opened them and start wearing them instagram i probably put it right here for y'all to see just a little i've been working on my reels y'all auntie been on instagram trying to like learn what the kids is doing these days and reels have have been my new thing. Um, but I did make that, that shows you a couple of the outfits. This is also, it's not necessarily one of the outfits, but this is a top from one of the outfits that I got from Amazon. And these bottoms are from Old Navy. Look at these bottoms, y'all. The bottoms are like, um, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Look at these bottoms, y'all. The bottoms are from Old Navy. And I got these for like eight, twelve dollars, y'all. They had a really good sale, and I shared on Instagram. So again, that is where I share good things <laughs> that I think will help people. Um, I also just be sharing random stuff. So again, if you want like a behind the scenes or even like tips, deals, stuff like that, I post a lot of gems on Instagram. But thank y'all for being here. I missed y'all, and I didn't want to just hop in here and go straight into this video i wanted to let y'all know what's been going on what's what's going on and now we can get into the purpose of this video 
So you see the title. So you probably already get a gist of what it is. But let me just say that I'm not even finna be on here. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. This is not a, I've always wanted to be a skater. When I was a kid, I went skating every Sunday. No, 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 I'm, I'm be honest, I'm a klutz. I'm clumsy, I could do many things. Skating has never been one of them, okay? Aside from skating last month when I went home to visit my family, I probably hadn't skated since high school and I didn't, frequently or often go skating it was kind of like had to be a event or something like that you know but skating just never was my thing it just wasn't <laughs> one of my main motivators to like be interested in skating and like really really pique my interest was my cousin sierra because she is cold with it <laughs> here's her instagram and I might put like a video or something of her doing her thing. She cold with it, y'all. And she's self-taught, right? She started skating last year, like during the pandemic and, and all that. So she cold. <laughs> So like when she first started skating, she was sending videos, pictures, and like of her progress. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. But for me, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't on social media. And I also wasn't aware that skating became like a lot more popular during the pandemic with a lot of people. I didn't know it was considered like a trend. You know, I was just like, oh, I didn't know it was considered like a trend to you. I just was out the loop. I've been out the loop. I've been out the loop, y'all. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I had no clue that it just kind of became like the thing to do. But it was this one picture that started piquing my interest. Right here. Now she's always had a nice body, but them legs, the, the, the tone in them legs, I noticed right away the definition in her legs. That's when it hit me like, oh shit, this is a workout. Skating is a workout. And it could just be another way for me to like, learn something new, have fun, you know, work on these legs. Cause y'all know these legs is like, <laughs> I'm trying to get my knees back and stuff, you know? Y'all know about the knees. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it turned the way I kind of looked at it from just like, oh, you're doing this for fun to, oh, there's benefits to this. So, so when I saw that, I told her, I was like, I'm gonna give me some skates. But after that, I didn't like, I wasn't like actively trying to get no skates or anything like that. It was just like, you know, in the future, I wanna, I wanna try it out, just see what it is. Now, when I went home, I got to get a little taste of her world. The night of my birthday, she went skating and we met her at the skating rink. And I mean, she was like one of the cool kids, right? She's with her friends doing the dips and the tricks and the leg splits. I was just there with my little borrow brownies look. I had to switch them out a couple times cause one was different than the other. It was a whole thing. I did fall, okay, I fell. Um, I almost fell for the majority of the time, but there were a few times where they played the right song and I was in the right groove and it was fun. And I was like, I like this. <laughs> so that's still the deal for me. To be like, yeah, I want to try this out. Now, granted, I, I'm a beginner. Like, I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> it was humbling though, very humbling because I'm a tall girl. I felt extremely out of place, wobbly. Um, you know, just all the things that were saying, ooh, you don't do this, do you? <laughs> but it made me want to look into it even more. And I look at it as like a challenge, something new. And we're just going to see what it turns into. So I got some skates. All that story to tell you that I got some skates, but I'm excited. And I'm excited. <laughs> the skates that I went with are these Impala roller skates. This is just the box. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the skates. Now in true me, honest fashion, okay? These are the skates that I wanted. Okay, those are the skates I had in my car and was really close to buying. However, I had a credit on Macari, right? And somebody had posted these by the same brand and also liked these as well. They just aren't like my favorite favorite, right? But it was like, with my credit, pay $60 for these or pay $120 for these. And the way the priorities in which my funds are delegated right now, we had to settle for these um, for my first pair. <laughs> I'm excited! 
but it's a collab with Marawa, the amazing. I think she's an Instagrammer who skates, but how beautiful is this box? These are the rose gold ones, and I got a size nine. Whoo, y'all, I was, I hope they fit. I'm a size nine normally. I looked at a lot of reviews. Most of them said they're true to size. Some said size down, some said size up. Honey, I just went with my heart and I just like, look, we just gonna go with the box. But the box is absolutely gorgeous. Let's open them up. <laughs> okay, so it's just got, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> and these are the skates. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at them. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I would say pre-pin, pre-pandemic, pandemic. Damn, we still don't know if we can say that word over here on the tubes. Um, but before that, I would say I was holographic, colorful, all of this. Like I have boots, I have floral boots upstairs. I have holographic boots with butterfly wings on the sides. Like you would be surprised, but well, you probably wouldn't. I don't, know what I'm, I don't know where I'm going with that. So we're just going to get back to the skates. Um, but let me open it up. And I'm going to give y'all a close look. These are the rose gold. And it has the marble wheels. In all honesty, it's the wheels for me. It's the wheels for me. They're like a pink and brown marble color. Look at that. Oh my God. I love it. They're like a pink tan brown marble that has the impala name on the side in pink this part here is rose gold i don't know what this base is called the inside has these cute like little logos where's the cat seems nice plush and if I was gonna go holographic or like shiny, it would definitely be the rose gold over like the silver holographic. I think I might be completely over that. <laughs> um, but I feel like rose gold is a bit more muted on the shine. So those are the skates. They both I'm sure look the same. I'll inspect this other one. Also got a couple of accessories from Amazon that I'm gonna show y'all. Some of them are last minute, so they weren't exactly what I like wanted, 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 but they were things that I needed to get immediately. So we'll talk about that when we get to it. So the first thing I got is this, is this adjusting tool. This is where you can loosen up the wheels. I hear that the wheels can come too tight. So this helps you Loosen them up for a smoother ride or a smoother roll. I don't know. <laughs> but it comes with this little bag. If y'all want, I can like link the stuff that I got from Amazon. I don't know if anybody's into skating. Are y'all into skating? If y'all are, give me some tips, y'all. I don't know anything about this. I'm gonna bust my ass. I'm gonna be on the ground. Let the body hit the flow is what I'm be doing. But I'm gonna embrace the journey. You gotta start somewhere. Okay, so the second thing I got, hold on. The second thing I got was this skate leash right here. And a skate leash is just to kind of carry it over your shoulder. You know, you wrap this around, you know, like, like you can wrap this around the skate like this, tighten it. Look, I'm talking like I really know what the hell I'm talking about. But you see, I'd be able to just casually carry my skates. And this is the color gold. It looks more of a mustard yellow, but I love that color. I think it goes really nice. So, you know, skate leash. I got that. Amazon as well. Hold on. It's good to know it's nice and sturdy. This is, this is nice and thick. I apologize in advance if I'm looking over here. I'm recording on my phone, which I don't like to do, but my battery is dead on my regular camera. And if I don't record this, I'm not gonna have videos. I gotta start getting back into it. So thumbs up for making videos under all circumstances. 
also got these toe caps, toe caps, toe guards. What is the proper term for them? Now these are temporary toe caps to be honest, but I did not want to have any. I actually ordered some off of Etsy, some that I really thought were super, super cute and unique. I'll put a picture of them right here and I'm just waiting for them to come. But these were cheap. I got them for like $8.99. Um, this is just so I don't go outside, fall hard and just scratch up the front of my skate because my luck is set up that way. So boom. Mm. It's just that I don't know. Does the, does the stopper come out? Okay, I think the stopper comes out. Yeah, there's a screw in here. There's a screw in here, so the stopper does come out. But I got pink just because, you know, it's like accents of pink on the skates. I am not a pink girl by any means. I never buy things that are pink. I'm not a pink girl at all. But I think it'll serve the purpose and it'll work, right? It'll work for, for what we need it for, for now. But it came in a pack of faux. I'm just talking to y'all. <laughs> okay, and the last thing that I got are these, wait, uh-uh. This is supposed to have a helmet with it. And this box is pretty small for that to be the case. So let's see. Look how small this box is. I'm a chill, I'm a chill. Thinking the worst. Thinking the worst before you even get it open. Work on that. Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm gonna work on it. Sorry, I haven't talked to myself. All right. And look, just like I said, tip of the day. Relax. See what it's about. See what it's like before you start to make your own assumptions. Hope that made sense. I think it applies. But I got this elbow. I hope these are elbow pads because if these are knee pads, baby, <laughs> they going <on> bike. <laughs> but I got this knee pad set. It has the elbow pads, the wrist straps, and it comes with a helmet, y'all. I know I be looking like a damn fool, but you know, I ain't trying to mess myself up. So let me take it all out and then I'll show y'all what I got. Also got this off of Amazon. Comes with this little bag. Comes with this bag to carry it. Okay. Initially, I was planning on getting the knee pads and you know all that stuff, but I wasn't gonna get a helmet because I was like, I'm about to lay no damn fool out here. But also, I ain't trying to get a concussion. Or, oof, don't even make me think about the possibilities. So, damn fool, here I come. So in no way did I want a black set, okay? I despised it because I I want I want my skate gear to be like light, neutral, fun. I feel like black takes away from it. Just I don't know, but this set was the one that would get to me quicker. Also, it was the best price I could find with like everything and good reviews. All of this, the six piece, two knee pads, two elbow pads, the wrist thingy majiggers and a helmet was $49. So that was a really good deal. Will I upgrade, update, get more fun and fancy down the line? Probably if I stick to this, which I think that I am, but who knows, we'll see. I know that I do wanna get the pad set from Impala that kind of released with these skates. So I'll probably order those, but it's just not priority right now. I'm, a, I'm just starting. I'm just starting, which is why I was okay with, hey, saving some money on the skates, but still getting something that I like. Starting off with like my starter bundle. We're not paying like a crazy amount. This is just what I'm starting with, okay? <laughs> Your girl is ready to be out here and protect it, okay? Don't play with me. I mean, it feels comfortable. <laughs> this is stupid. I think I'm good. <laughs> I don't know y'all. I don't know if I'm wearing this helmet. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel a little, <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. Which I know that I love that it's matte black. I don't like the logo, so I'll probably get a sticker to cover that up with either like a word, a saying, a logo. Y'all know how I do. Here are the knee pads. 
Here are the wrist things. What are these called, y'all? Can somebody tell me? Or is it just a wrist strap? It might just be a wrist strap. I've actually had a wrist strap like this for my nerve issues. We won't get into that. But, okay. Okay, so that fits pretty good. Fits pretty good. I got a large. I got this set in a large, and I'm kind of nervous mostly for the knee part. I'm not super small up here because I still have like my extra meat and stuff, but I'm smaller up top. My legs and my knees is where it gets big, but so let's see. Hold on, chair. I need some help. Help me. Okay, so I got these on. Nice. I know this isn't what those are for, okay? So let's put on the elbow parts. Y'all, yeah, I'm a really, people gonna see me in the neighborhood or wherever I go and be like, she a grown ass woman. And, and I feel one protection too, okay? We trying to protect this body. Like I said, I have a lot of like loose skin here. So it actually feels comfortable, if you can see. It just looks like, kind of like hangy, just because of the way my skin is. But you can loosen it up a little bit. Like that, if you want it to. See, if I did like that, it wouldn't be like that. So don't look at it like that and think it's like squeezing me. It's not, it's just hanging. <laughs> so, okay. So we got these. I'm excited, y'all. I don't know. I think that this could become something really, really special for me. Just something else to bring more peace, you know? So we got these, okay. We got the arm things. We got our elbows protected. We got our wrists protected. Let's check out the knees, y'all. Y'all know the knees. My knees be kneeing, okay? So this is the part I'm nervous about. Worst case scenario, it'll just have to be tight. <laughs> it'll just have to be tight, baby, because I'm not I'm not going out there without this. Ooh, it is gonna be tight. I got big knees, y'all. I really do. Okay, so it's not that bad. It's just that my cat my calves are big too. So so yeah, yeah, they are a little tight, honestly. You can see right there. They are a little tight for my thighs and for my knees, but who's still gonna wear them as me? I read the reviews, it's better that they be tight than loose, obviously, so they don't slide off when you wear them. The only thing that I'm concerned with is if they're comfortable and will they be painful when I wear them? So as long as they're not that, then I'm okay with them being a little tighter. Also because, you know, I plan on toning up and not being so jiggly wiggly. So that's more motivation for that. So it's all good. And maybe this is a good review for somebody that's looking for these and wants to know. If anybody wants to know my pants size, I don't know because I don't wear pants. <laughs> all right, y'all, here I am. Ready to go, ready to skate. Don't be late. I mm. think it'll definitely make me feel more protected. Oh yeah, it's padded too. It's padded on the inside of the knees. Yeah, <laughs> this is a demonstration. The main important part for me, cause there were some really cute ones that I almost got, but the reviews, <laughs> all the pictures in the reviews were people showing their knees all banged up, bloody, and scuffed up. So I was like, well, what's the point? If I'm still gonna be getting jacked up. You know, this body's got flaws, but she doesn't need any more scars. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to try these on because that's kind of important, right? We need to know if I fit them. So try these on. I'm not gonna skate, skate around here, but 
Let's just try them on for size and make sure we can fit them. So let me bring y'all down. Can I see me? Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> this is the big moment. Will they fit? All right, I got on some thick socks. My mama gave me these socks, y'all, years ago, and I love them. My friend needed some socks one time, and I let her wear these, and I said, you better give them back, because my mama got me those socks. Okay, y'all, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, it actually fits good. Like not too tight, but slides straight in. But they aren't tied up. So let me do that and then I'll be back. I can make a reel with this video, I think. All I think about is reels, y'all. I still haven't like, you know, made any big waves on there but i'm learning something new with every one i do so i think my time is coming soon so i'll be patient trust the process these are actually really cute i probably would not have bought them if it weren't for getting a good price, but I'm glad that I did. Hey, Sierra, look at my trick. Do the splits, ow. Do the splits, ow. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, this one feels good too. Let's go ahead and tie her up. You know, when it comes to recording videos lately, I just haven't been feeling motivated to like, you know what it is? I feel like when I turn on the camera, I'm expected to like perform. And I don't like that. When I was sharing my journey and my projects and stuff on my main channel, when I felt like not that many people were watching, you know, it just felt better for me. But when I feel the expectation, that's when my overthinking begins and that's when the fun comes out of it, as well as like, I'm thankful, 100% thankful for um, sponsorships and stuff like that. But in the background, just to be honest with y'all, that also comes with having to post at certain times, right? Certain days, deadlines, having to say certain things, which aren't, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying them, but that all that aspect of it starts to take the fun out of it for me. So I think it was just a lot of that. So I've been very, very, I've, I've stepped back from a lot of like sponsorships and, and new opportunities. Not that I'm not gonna take any going forward, but for my own sanity and to keep things fun for me, I have to be super selective now. Oh, standing up on my skate for the first time. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Hold on, let me pick y'all up. Check me out. I look, I look, whoa, I'm finna fall, hold on, wait. <laughs> This is not a good look for me. Okay, I had to turn y'all around so y'all could like really see what was going on. I look like I'm ready. Let me put my wrist thing on. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, this is funny. Let me go back. Woo! Oh, hold on, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. 
I want to make y'all dizzy. Y'all see this is loose. I need to tighten them up. Okay. All right. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, I have my skates. I'm going to be honest. They're nice and they fit. But these parts right here are putting pressure on the inside of my foot. If anybody knows um, any tips for that, but yeah, I'm definitely getting like a, a pressure on that part and I don't want it to create like problems, right? So if anybody's got tips for that, I'm gonna look up some on my own. In this video, I was honestly going to try and do like an unboxing, try on, and maybe like go somewhere and try and skate. But if you see outside, it's getting dark. I mean, it doesn't look dark, but it's 7, 18 in a matter of 45, 50 minutes, it will be dark outside. Don't wanna feel rushed. Um, and I just wanna enjoy it and allow myself to have that time. So, so next we're gonna be skating for the first time and trying out the new skates. If y'all have any first time skater tips for me, please help us sister out, y'all. I can already see it. I can already tell that these pads will be getting used. Um, and I hope that these legs will be getting toned and then I can get comfortable with it. I'm excited for this new journey. And if y'all are excited too, give this video a thumbs up, y'all. What else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. Feels good to be back doing new things and getting back to what makes me happy. It's good to be back. So thank you for spending your time with me. I'll see y'all in the next video. Here, <gasps> girl. I don't wait. I wonder if I could dance with the skates. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Oh, no, girl. Wait. But here I am, y'all, in the mirror, ready for action. Hi! Oof, aggressive. Ow! <clears throat> That's how you gonna do me. Skates, it is a collab with Mara. What the hell? What does it say? Um, but yeah, we got this. This is nice and thick. By me. I also got these taupe. I guess the good thing about recording from my cell phone is it doesn't stop at 29 minutes like my camera does. <laughs> that happens pretty often. Well, every time actually. I also got these toe caps. Look how big my forehead looks. Damn! Zingers. How sweet, how, how, how sweet, sweet the sound, 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 oh, like me. Y'all remember that? Crowd shot. No, I'm just playing.